in Japan. Hello, all you wonderful people, and greetings from Akashi. I'm just right outside of Kobe right now in Hyogo, Japan. There's a swamp right behind me, and what I'm looking to go into is that park right behind me, Akashi Park, which has Akashi Castle inside of it. Right as you walk into the park, you can see the actual castle right there. That's Akashi Castle. They have a freaking robot show that welcomes you into this park. That's insane. This is a pretty awesome sundial right here. At the time of filming this, it is currently high noon. On the outside, the castle looks really impressive. There's two tall turrets on the curved ridge. Looks like it would be very hard to get up, but on the inside, it holds a secret. This is it. <laughs> this is the castle. And if you look carefully in the castle grounds, you may notice a spot that would hold a castle. But Akashi's castle's secret is there was never a keep here. They had the area for it, but they never built it. This was originally surrounded by four towers, only two of which survived. So why does this castle not have a keep? Well, I'm gonna have to go through some numbers here, so try to keep up. In 1615, there was a law passed that said every clan can only have one castle. And in 1617, when the clan that built this castle was looking for a strategic place where they could see the ocean and they could see the mountains and they could protect Osaka from invasion from the west, they picked right here. Now, they could only have one castle and I know they needed to build it quick, so they built it from 1617 to 1619. So it only took two years to build. And when they were building the castle, they actually dismantled other castles for supplies for this one. And even though there's a giant, big, modern city here, you can still see the strategic importance of this castle. Right there is the ocean, right there is Awaji Island, Japan's biggest island. And down that way would be Osaka. So you could protect from the west, you could protect from the mountains, and you could protect everywhere around you because you'd be able to see it. It's a little unfortunate that the two remaining structures from the castle are these two turrets. And I know what you're thinking. Back in World War II, this place is probably bombed to hell. And you'd be wrong. Actually, in the 1800s, they decided, well, we really don't need this castle. In the 1600s, we raided Osaka, Japan is unified, eh, we don't need it anymore. But on public holidays and weekends, they actually allow you to go into that tower. But unfortunately, it's not a weekend. A little fun fact, that tower's name translated in English would be Sheep Monkey Tower. But at least from here, you can get a beautiful view of the top of Awaji Island and the longest suspension bridge in Japan if you were so interested in photography. Or you can check out the battlements in the wall. They could fire guns or arrows out of this, duck from the side, if anyone's come, <laughs> they just duck back. I couldn't imagine holding a gun or firing a bow and arrow out at enemies out here and just ducking back and forth, but you know, times change, life changes, but war, war never changes. If you ever come out to Hogo and you're like, oh, I wanna go see a castle, 
This is a nice walk. It's free and you can come up and see some beautiful scenery and beautiful nature. Get away from the big city just by walking out of the train station. As I always say folks, you can do it. I can do it. We can all do it. Stay groovy and have a wonderful day. I'm going to go enjoy nature. Peace.